I got a special one for you guys today. The classic arcade handheld game system. Looks like it's from Tech Solutions. 400 games, 3.7 volt lithium rechargeable battery, three inches wide display. Damn, AV cables included, suitable for everyone 13 plus. We got Soldier Boyed up looking um, Excite Bike on the cover there. What's going on with this thing? I saw this at five below. It was $10. I walked past it, it was like, eh, I don't know. And then I saw all the, the wonkiness, like, look, it looks like Super Mario's on here. Some clone Pac-Man. I, I don't know what's going on, but uh, I thought it would be interesting. We got to enjoy 400 classic games in a compact and lightweight design. Got a bunch of stuff. You can connect it to your TV with them AV cables. I don't know how many TVs actually have composite anymore, but hey, 2022. You know, a lot of us still like that retro goodness, right? There we go. We got a super wide backlit LCD screen. Slim portable design, easy to carry anywhere, and that rechargeable battery ensures up to six hours of continuous gameplay. Level your ass up. That's what I'm talking about. Big screen gaming. Setup is simple and easy. What else is on here? So this is a new handheld. 2022 Mercury Innovations, New York, New York. You can uh, explore a selection of their products on their website there. The illustrated product and specifications may differ slightly from those supplied. What? Made in China, of course. Uh, what is going on here? So am I not gonna get counterfeit Excite Bike? Am I not gonna get Soldier Boy Mario? I hope I do. So let's check this thing out. $10, I mean, you can't, come on, it's 10 bucks. I'm not gonna complain too much. We gotta, we gotta see what we got going on here. What the hell? Oh crap, the battery, like, they don't have the battery plugged in. They're too scared that you're gonna um, get blowed up. AV cable, so mono. We just plug that in the top there. This cable is, how long is this cable? Do they really expect you to sit? Yeah, they do, they expect you to sit two and a half feet from your TV playing this thing. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, micro USB for charging. Hopefully it's got a charge there, DC five volt. This thing feels very lightweight. Ooh, ooh. All right, let me get that out of here. This is a gross feeling handheld. Like, what is this texture? That like, holding like a shriveled freaking. oh my God, I'm not even gonna say it, volume wheel? This is, okay, do we got, we got plastic on the screen? Let's, let's get that peeled. Oh, nice. Do you hear that? All right, let's, let's get this opened. Your basic, uh, 1020 milliamp hour battery, okay. Let's power this thing on. Whoa. What is the, du, are you, Double Dragon 2, Final Fight. Are you telling me that Five Below is selling illegal handhelds? I thought this was gonna have a, uh, like just bootleg stuff on it. Gun Knack? You, uh, you getting sued, freaking Five Below and whoever this company is. Mercury Innovations? Let's check a couple of these games out. Final Fight. Is this Mighty Final Fight? Licensed by Nintendo. You Are you serious? What? They sell this in an actual freaking store. You gotta be... I've never seen such a thing. Five Below. You're the soldier boy of legitimate stores. This is nuts. Wow, how do I, how do I get in? No, this is illegal as all hell. You gotta be kidding me. This screen sucks, dude, but you know what? It gets the job done. Oh my God, this D-pad is not good. You got mighty final fight. 
you. I'm surprised. I seriously thought this was gonna be a bunch of junk. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Maybe this can be like rehoused in something, cause like, dude, the the uh, resistance on this D pad, it like, it hurts my thumb to press it. It's so like hard and like. That's what she said, but it like goes deep into the recesses of this shriveled up looking shell. Wow. Let's see what else is on here. You got Chip and Dale. Oh my God. Capcom. Oh my God. Snitches get stitches, dude. I'm like, I shouldn't be saying nothing, but hey, I did not think any of this stuff was gonna be on here. I thought this was gonna be a bunch of boo-boo-ness, like a bunch of weird wonky games, you know? Like a bunch of, you know, like, like crappy, like wannabe games. Like it's not Mario, it's Mario and, you know, different graphics and different, like, you know, levels, but you get the idea they're trying to copy, but no. These fools straight up ROM dumped a little, it's an NES on a chip. It's an NES on a chip. This is crazy, dude. Adventure Island, Tom and Jerry, Caveman Ninja, Miss Pac-Man Galaga. You got Namco stuff on here, Puyan. 1942? Chubby Cherub? Duck? Fruit Pig? You know, you're getting some of these weird names, but Ninja 2, what is that? You got Pac-Land? What is this? Well, whatever it is, it probably should, they probably don't have the license to it. I don't like how it starts over. Hello Kitty. Defender. This is nuts. Burger time? You got games that are repeating though. Adventure Island's been on here a bunch of times. Chip and Dale, same thing. Been on here a couple times. Gun Knack, Snow Bros. Yeah, the list gets repeated a <laughs> lot. Is Super Mario on here? If it is, it's probably called something weird. Angry Bird, Nutcracker, Crack Them Nuts. Wow. Paperboy? It's Paperboy! Let's, let's deliver these papers. I should be a pro at this. I was a, a newspaper delivery person for like 10 years, over 10 years. My, my, you know, younger days. As an adult driving a car, throwing newspapers at, at houses. This a newspaper man. Hey man, you know, sometimes you, you had to do what you had to do, you know? Working two, three jobs. Wait, is this shit glitched out where I could just drive through shit? Okay, so I'm assuming... I'm assuming, um... Like, the earlier games on the list are not, like, hacked versions, and then later in the list, they... They may start at, like, different points in the game, or maybe glitched somehow. I bet you that's... that's what's going on here. This is funny. Pika Chew <laughs> Five Below, you getting sued, dude. What is this? It's Tetris with fucking Pikachu. These buttons and D-pads suck freaking ass, man. 
Okay, I, I gotta, I gotta go back. I gotta get one of these for you know, the sake of um. I, I don't know. Like it's, it's gonna be an artifact, a, a historical gaming artifact. I gotta get one sealed in the box. Ten dollars. I'm going the five below first thing in the morning. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I already I got this one. That's good enough. But this is just ridiculous. You ser seriously? Look at this. Wow. Oh shit. The screen is like so glimmery and like. The viewing angles are bad, but it gets the job done. Just these membranes that are in this kind of suck, man. But for $10, this is interesting, man. It would be cool if it had like a little USB port to like plug in a controller or something. Wow, that is crazy. Let me know what you guys think. Are you gonna run out and grab one of these? 10 bucks, dude. <laughs> Bye, big ass thumb butt.